Ah, that morning cup of joe. A must-do for many people. But can you drink too much coffee? Coffee is associated with many different health benefits. Type 2 diabetes, reduced risk of heart disease, reduced risk of certain cancers, improved mood, reduced risk of depression, Parkinson's disease, the list goes on and on. Dr. Donald Hendrew says even though there is a tiny bit of a substance in coffee called acrylamide that's toxic in large amounts, the benefits of drinking coffee outweigh the risks. It's the highest source of antioxidants. And so even decaffeinated coffee has been associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes similar to caffeinated coffee. He says pregnant women and people who have side effects such as headache, nervousness, or heart palpitations should limit caffeine. So drink what you enjoy. If you're susceptible to the effects of caffeine, decaffeinated coffee is an excellent choice. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.